Hello friends, welcome back to our TS Info YouTube channel. This is Ganesh Yadav. In this video, we are going to discuss Power Apps Date and Time Picker. As we know, the Power Apps Date Picker does not have a time picker control like hour, minute, seconds by default. If the Power Apps could provide developers with this feature, it would be extremely helpful. As this Power Apps Time Picker feature is not available in Power Apps Date Picker, we can use a drop down control to select hour, minute, seconds alternatively. Now I will show you practically how to create a power apps date and time picker. Here you can see this is my power apps edit page where we can create a date and time picker column. First of all rename the default screen. Next insert a date picker column for that go to the insert tab. Here select the date picker. Here you can see whenever you add a date picker column, it will be take the default date as today and it will not contains the time. As per our requirement, we need to select a date and time. To do that, insert a drop down control. then set its items property like you can see as hour represent 24 hours so i have applied from 0 to 23 similarly insert another drop down control now set its items property like here you can see as per minute represent 60 seconds that's why i have applied 0 to 59 now select the hover drop down and set its default property like. Here you can see I am using text hover and now functions. This is my date and time format. Now select the minutes drop down and set its default property like. Similarly, you can see here I am using text minute and now functions. This is my time and date format. Now go to the preview section. Here you can see we will get a date and time picker like this. Next, suppose you want to display a date and time picker with AM or PM on a 12 hour basis. For that, insert a another drop down control. then set its items property like next set the default property of a drop down control you can see i'm using hover and now functions based on the 12 hour basis yes this way you can work with the date and time picker with am or pm on a 12 hour basis Next, I will show you how to use a power apps time picker control using a simple scenario. For that, insert another blank screen. Then set its on visible property of a screen. Here you can see I am creating a collection like collection hours for a hours. And here you can see this is my collection minutes for minutes. Here you can see I am adding two text input controls for passenger name and phone number. This is my date time picker column like selecting a date and these are the drop down controls to select the time also. First of all select the hover drop down and set its items property like. This is my collection name like collection hours. Similarly select a minutes drop down and set its items property like collection minutes next select the button control then set its on select property here you can see this is my collection name like collection travels these are the two text input control names like text name and text phone number to provide the passenger name and phone number for date and time i am using concatenate function this is my date picker column control name and this is my drop down control names once it is done go to the preview section 
and to provide the travel booking form details. Once click on the button control, it will be saved in the Power Apps collection. To get the collection, go to the wearable section. Here expand the collection and select the specific collection. Then click on view table. Here you can see you will get the date and time picker column including a time. Next I will show you how to use a date and time picker column using a SharePoint online list. Here you can see this is my SharePoint online list like hotel reservation list. Inside this I have added two date and time picker columns like arrival date and departure date. Now I would like to add a record from a power apps form. For that go to the power apps, insert a blank screen. And you should remember whenever you want to add a SharePoint online list to the Power Apps, you go to the data section. Here select the add data, then search SharePoint. Here select your respective SharePoint online site. Then choose your respective SharePoint online list like hotel reservation. Then select the connect button. Now go to the respective screen. Then insert a edit form control. Now set its item property like SharePoint online list. Here you can see whenever the user connect the SharePoint online list to the Power Apps edit form control, it will be add two drop down controls to select a time like this. Submit a record from Power Apps form control to SharePoint online list. For that, insert a button control. And change the button text like. Now set its on select property like. Here you can see this is my edit form control. Now go to the preview section. Here provide the details. Now click on the button control to submit the record from a Power Apps edit form to SharePoint online list. To check the record go to the SharePoint online list. Here you can see you will get the date and time picker column like this. Next I will show you how to work with the power apps date and time picker with time zone. For that insert another blank screen. Next insert a date picker control. Here you can see the power apps date picker control has the time zone property under the properties pane like local and UTC. Here you can see by default it will select it as a local date and time zone. You can also convert it local to UTC as well. In the last I will show you how to clear the power apps date and time picker column. For that insert a reset icon. Then set its on select property like. Here you can see this is my variable name like reset date and time and this is my date picker control name. Now select the date picker control and set its default date. Here you can see this is my variable name. Now go to the preview section. Now select the date from date picker column. Now select the reset icon to reset the date picker like this. Yes friends this is all about how to create a date and time picker column. I hope guys you like this video to give a like and do subscribe our youtube channel for more free videos on SharePoint Online, Power Apps, Power Automate and Power BI. Thank you.